Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here. Welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. John has sent me this massive great big box of treats from America and interestingly enough, I cut out his last name and his address so that stalkers and creepy people wouldn't hunt him down and I've made him a new last name, John Profession. So let's have a look at what's in the box. Oh wow! Wow! This is a separate box of stuff. So that's 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 fusion selection. I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh wow! Wow! Calm your farm. North American Wildlife 2022 12 month calendar. Well, I love animals, honestly. This is good. Very, very cool. I love this. Oh my gosh, the beautiful animals. So I'm going to show you the first few months and if you're in those birthdays and you can see what animals on your month because really that's the first thing you do when you get a calendar is go straight to your months. Well, go straight to June for me. <laughs> I mean, it's my... Oh! I'm very happy with that. He's the star of the show because he's on the cover. January, are you ready for your animal? You happy? February, oh, a couple of bears. You've got to be happy with that. March, oh, he's stunning. <gasps> Who do you think has a birthday on that month? That's really cool. He's absolutely gorgeous. And that's all I'm going to show you this video. You'll have to wait and see the others later. And MRE kit. I can't believe that. You know, I might need this though. You never know with this stupid pandemic stuff. Go live in a bunker and eat this and I'll be as happy as. I'll be right. So let's divvy this up and do an American taste test. These are the things I've selected to try today. Let's get started. First up, I'm going to try these cheddar bomb corn snacks and they're from Turkey Creek Snacks. Never heard of them before. Flavoured cheese snacks. I think I'm going to like them. They look ridiculously cheesy. I want them to be disgustingly cheesy. You know how you put your hand in the bag and it comes out that weird fake orangey yellow color. That's what I want. Our snacks are not your everyday snack made with real cheddar cheese. Our extra crunchy snacks keep you satisfied and deliver on the intensely cheese flavor. Cheesy flavor. Yes. Yes, please. Have a look, they look gorgeous. They do. Mm. They look like our twisties that we have here. Look at that. It practically glows and I love it. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy. And yes, they are very cheesy. Mm -hmm. mm. They're not quite as salty, like disgustingly salty as I thought they were going to be, but they are very cheesy. They do deliver on the cheese as they promise. It's a cheese bomb. Turkey Creek Snacks. Guess they have turkeys at Turkey Creek or is this just a made up name? Is there a place called Turkey Creek? And they do leave a weird cheesy residue on your fingers, which is what you want when you have something like this. They're quite nice, yeah. I'm going to move on to a meaty stick next. Hot chili pepper and lime flavor. Meat sticks. Oh, this is from Tuckers. Yes! I do like the Tucker stuff. I mean, it's torturous, but I love it. Oh, inspired by the intensity of Tuckers. All right, we will see. There's a way to open this, which is unknown to me. Oh, here it is. Oh, goodness, it's a bit slippery. <laughs> That's a slippery stick. Yes, it smells quite intense. All right. Has it got plastic on it? Oh no. No. Whoa. Oh, I don't quite know about this one. It's not crazy hot. Oh no, is it? Yeah, it is quite peppery and you can really taste that lime in there as well. When I bit into it at first, I thought the surrounds of it was actually plastic because it actually almost felt like it was going to separate from it. And I thought, what have I done? I've eaten plastic, but it's not. It's just the way the casing is on the outside. Is it plastic? No, no, it might be. <laughs> I should know at this point in my adult life if I am in fact eating plastic or not. It is hard. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just a casing. No, that's just the way it's supposed to be. Oh, that's edible. Just imagine if people ask me, what's the hardest part about doing taste test videos? Working out what's edible. I don't really know what's happened to this meat and in fact what kind of meat it is. Probably best not to know, but it's quite tasty. Very spicy, peppery. It's really smooshed up the meat inside it. So it's not really chewy. It's kind of like it's been chopped. A crazy machine has chopped it, but pretty good. 
Next up, I'm going to try these, and this looks like it's good for you. Granny Smith apple chips, and these are by Senyala. There's a C in there. Senica. Senica. Hey, thanks. No, seriously, it says it on the back. For snacking with us, the original apple chip. Our apple chips are made from fresh, whole apples, which are sliced, crisp, and ready to snack when you are. I'm ready. Try them all. Oh, they got other ones. Original caramel, cinnamon. No thanks for the cinnamon. Granny Smith, golden delicious, yum. And sour apple. All those different flavors. I'm hoping I will like these because I think they're gonna be pretty good for you. Oh, hello. All right, there they are, little sliced up bits of apple. Granny Smith has never been on the top of my liked apples, but I might like these because I don't know why, actually. <laughs> oh, why would I? Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I'm surprised at how crunchy those are. But you know how sometimes they call things chips and they're not crunchy, but these... Very crunchy, nicely dehydrated, super sweet, lovely apple, well, a lovely apple flavor in it, surprisingly. I don't know what to tell you about the flavor of it. it. Tastes like apples. Actually, it does taste like Granny Smith apples, but it's lovely and sweet. They're very crispy. I quite like these, yum. I mean, I'm going back for apple chips. Unheard of. This is an interesting one. It's a jar of Craveology snack mix with cranberries. Spicy coconut curry. That's a great flavor, isn't it? And these are made by Ocean Spray, who obviously make the cranberries. So you got peanuts and cashews and the cranberries. Let's just try some, oh, I can't get it out. My hand's too big. Probably best to just uh, pour them out. I mean, I'm gonna persist. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Coconut. Mmm. I was really excited when I had that bit of coconut because that really brings the mix all together. Cranberries, cashews, coconut. There's a curry flavor in there, but it's the balance of it's done really well. So it doesn't overtake the flavor of the nuts and stuff. There's a peanut. Hello. beautiful that is. This has turmeric in it and all kinds of stuff. Very, very tasty. And I love the little jar that it comes in, even though it's hard to get things out of it. Time for a beverage break. And today I have a Sonic Ocean Water, which never drink ocean water. You die, won't you? Because it's salt. you can't drink salt water anyway. Zero sugar drink mix. So I don't know what flavor this is because it says not a lot. Can you read that? They come in stick form. Have a look at the sticks. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here, hold some back. It's blue, it's blue, it's blue! Oh, it's beautiful though. Does that remind you of the ocean? No. I mean, what flavor is this supposed to be? It doesn't really let you know. Ocean water, that's not a flavor. Cheers. Oh, it smells like tonic water. Oh, that's a mystery. Oh, it's not particularly sweet. I don't know what flavor it is. I can't work it out even though I'm drinking it. How ridiculous. It tastes a little bit fruity. You know what it tastes like? Aspirin, like a nicer version of aspirin, a sweeter aspirin. Mm. It's quite nice that it's not crazy sweet, but I'm, I don't know about the color of it. It's a little bit like toilet duck. You know that, I can't think of the name of it, that sulfuric, the, the something acidy stuff that they put into drinks? Not acid acid, because that, I'd be in trouble. Tastes like sweet Aspro drink. Oh, look at this one. This is her stuff. It's sourdough pretzels, bite size. Authentically aged sourdough recipe. Have a look. Oh, hello. Oh, I love pretzels. Oh, they have salt on the outside. Very nice. Smells amazing. Mmm. 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 Mm. The flavor is really good. They're not overly salted, but I'm still enjoying them very much. Authentic sourdough, you'll taste the difference. Mmm. -hmm. Pretzel lovers know that sourdough is the only dough that'll do. 
Do you agree with that? Yeah, these are nice. So next up, we've got something chocolate and this one is from this company here. I'm not gonna say it today because I just feel like I'm gonna get it wrong and I just don't, I don't feel like being wrong. These are dark chocolate espresso beans, naturally flavored. Now this does appeal to me because I love coffee beans in chocolate. Oh, hello my beauties, hello. Mm, oh, you can smell those beautiful little coffee beans in there. Love them. Mm, mm. The dark chocolate on this is actually really nice and it goes perfectly with that crunchy coffee bean inside there. For those of you out there that love coffee and love dark chocolate, you would love these. These are a real treat. I love them. Pringles Scotch and Barbecue. Do they look red? Yes, they do. Have a look. Oi! God! Mm. I Seriously? Oh my goodness me, they are hot! <laughs> I mean, it's hot enough here already and then I've eaten these and I feel like my temperature's just gone up like this, like the cover. I'm all weird and, and disgusting and sweaty now. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor in this predominantly is just hot, 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 chilly hot. And they say they're scorching and that's what they are. Can I taste much barbecue flavor in there? Not really, because it's just predominantly hot. Oh, no, here, a little, little, little bit, little bit of barbecue, but mainly just hot. Wow, I feel like I've gone red and weird. <laughs> Thank you so much, John, for sending me all of these amazing snacks. I really do appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to trying the rest of it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.